The economic blocks are not being funded, uh, despite our provision of this allocation in our various uh, budgets. When I read this issue yesterday, the Minister for Devolution has taken up the issue. He said he's going to look into the issue, he will consult the stakeholders, those involved, control of budget, maybe the AG, Attorney General, see, get their opinion and see what they, they can do. So that is a very critical issue, but we feel economic blocks must be entrenched in the Constitution. And those are some of the issues that we are going to raise in the Katos initiative. Because within the county budget, because these are our own problems at the county level, the only difference is that we are coming together, several counties, but we want them budgeted for within our county budget. At the council meeting this morning, uh, and as a council, we have agreed that uh, we will progress the Ukatusi initiative on, on this referendum issue. You remember, um, uh, during our first term, we started Pesta Machinani, it, it could not proceed, but now we have uh, decided that as council of governors, we shall have the Ukatusi initiative and soon we will be rolling out our, our program on this initiative. It's not taking or refusing. <laughs> As counties we must be funded. At least we must be funded. Whether what happens, we must be funded. So it's not taking or leaving it. And we must be funded and as I've repeated, now that is a decision of the Senate and the National Assembly. What they agree, we will take that. Division of revenue. As council of governors, I think we have made a decision. Uh, first of all, this process of division of revenue is a long process, and this is a process that started way out last year, late last year. But we had a meeting in February where we met under IPEC. IPEC is chaired by the deputy president. And as a council, we made a proposal of 344 billion based on our own workings. And at that meeting, we were convinced by CRA that uh, after looking at what the economy can afford, we accept 335. And that is what we accepted from that particular meeting. When we accepted 335, the issue was now to go to the National Assembly and the Senate. So it went there, they could not agree, and after disagreement, we were invited to several meetings by the Deputy President. I think we have had about four meetings to discuss about the issue. But since the issue had reached the, to the two houses, us, we were just there as stakeholders, because the decision remains with the Senate and the National Assembly. So we have done our best, but we still stand on the issue of gi being given 335. That's the figure looking at the inflation, because last year we got 314. If you put the inflation of about 6%, it comes to 327. And that's why the Senate at that time, they were insisting on 327. So our position is that if we have to do, provide the services that we are provide, supposed to provide as counties, 335 